Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're playing some Hawks 2 and it's been a long time since I don't play this so I may be a little bit bad but well I, w I was bad when I played it before but anyway let's just hop in the story <laughs> just after we s we took off the we assaulted that train The first phase of the operation is complete. Our assault caught the enemy by surprise. And we've accomplished our initial objectives. And now comes the difficult part. We have two of the stolen warheads in our hands. And they must be returned to Russian territory at all costs. There is no time to waste. The Separatist units are already moving to cut off our escape. And their air defense network has gone on full alert. We're going to have to fight our way out. We're loading one warhead on each transport. I'll go with the lead plane and Agent Rachev will fly on the other. Denisov, you and your pilots will provide escort. Don't let those bastards anywhere near the transports. Understood? Okay, so we apparently have to protect the nukes. So let's see. Um, Dmitry Sokol. Okay, so we're going f with one uh, SU-27. This one's pretty now. Okay. Let's see if I remember this. Everyone stay alert. Yeah. Okay. The separatists aren't going to give up these warheads without a fight. Okay. <laughs> so call, your plane's been equipped as a radar jamming pod that the ground crews jury rigged while we were refueling at Vladi Kavkaz. The general thought it might give us the edge we need against the separatists. Mm hmm Great. This is 613. I'm picking up multiple aircraft dead ahead. Increase speed. Don't let the separatists get near the transports. All planes, engage at will. Okay, let's we see which two. weapons There's we have. Okay. To the jamming pods just yet. We can take care of these bandits without any help. Okay, there's a missile behind me. Okay. Um Okay, there's plane right up front. Let's shoot some missiles at it. And well there's another really close to the matter back. How was flares? Oh. I can change the view. Press the wrong button. Oh, which plane are those? They got some heavy missiles. We're hit. Two engines are out and we've got a fighter on board. Looks like two stealth fighters. Where the hell did they come from? I had no idea. So call. Activate the jamming pods. Quickly, before the mix line up another shot. Um, V... Jamming pod. What's your six, Sokov? If the separatists can target the transport, they are going to go after you instead. We'll cover you, 612. Get moving. Oh, they're coming after me. Lovely. Okay, so... Let's try to kill them. Uh, there's one right... Okay, I see it. Man, that plane looks cool looking. I like one of those. Okay, that one's dead. Let's move to the next target. It's just a kilometer from me. Oh, it's hard to hit then. Okay, he's dead. Uh, there's one close to the med. Med vehicle, oh, something like that. <laughs> Can't read it anymore. But engines are running at forty percent. We're losing speed and altitude. Okay, we're trying to kill them. These bastards. Okay, um, there's one right here. Oh, he's taking some missiles. Where is he? Ow! Let me break a bit so I can do this. Oh man, he, this guy's spinning. Okay. Okay, he's dead. Let's see the next one. Pretty close. Oh, the medved is pretty low. Okay. It's pretty far from me as well. Let me get closer to them. This is medved. I'm in contact with Spetsnaz units on the ground. They've reported that they've captured some of the enemy's AA batteries. Their positions are being uploaded now. Let's see if we can draw the enemy over those AA positions and give them a surprise. 
Okay, a light kill zone. So let's see. What am, what am I supposed to be doing here? Just going to the kill zone? I'm picking up more enemy fighters at 150. We'll be out of enemy territory in a few more minutes. Hold it together. I'm sorry guys, my this is a bit frustrating. My headset just went out of battery. Okay. Oh, I see what's what's this supposed to do. Um, okay. That's pretty great. Just some AA units here. There's still a pretty long way for the medvet to go. And that kind of concerning. Like, if you look at the minimap on the bottom left corner, that's huge. Okay, anyway, let's just keep protecting them. When the enemy fighters come after you, try to lure them close to one of our AA sites. I'm, tr I'm going to the kill zone. Um, getting there. There's a plane right there. I kind of want to take him out. Okay. That's a kill. Gratefully, I was right in this kill zone. <laughs> so. Reserve closing. Okay, two dodges. Oh, oh, there's the last one. Oh, that one hit me. Okay, um, still got 58% off plane, <laughs> um, which is pretty great, I guess. It's at least look more than half. Pretty sure the enemies will be coming from the right this time. I, or not. Oh no, they're, they're coming from a bad position. Come on, gotta lure them to the kill zone. I see the kill zone. One of them was a little bit smart of not kinda dodging the kill zone. Man, for the amount of mis missiles on this game, I think there are not too many flares. Actually, there is not even close for many flares. There's a really small amount of flares per plane, it's like two or four. <laughs> and yeah, that, that kinda sucks. Um, I know that planes normally have like a hundred flares or something. So it would be great if there were more flares. Otherwise I have to be dodging all missiles. Okay, I see another ally kill zone. And the skill zones, they're kinda great. They kill everybody easily. But, well, they gotta take away your job, right? Um, let's see, let's come in close to the kill zone. So I can try to take them out. So here, yeah, always one of them seem to go out from the group, like that guy. Maybe he's shooting at Medved. Okay, he's dead. Oh, that's not the acceleration, okay. Uh, there's a missile. Oh, how many missiles are there? Those are a lot. Let's see. There's still one. One plane's alive. Hello. He's dead now. Um. I can see the Nevskaya dam up ahead. We are nearly home free. Medved, this is 611. I'm detecting enemy AA positions near the dam. Recommend we alter course to avoid them. Negative 611. This is the shortest route out of enemy territory. We'll be in friendly airspace in less than a minute. Okay, um, it seems like... Oh, nothing. Oh, crap. This is Dratjev. We've taken another hit. Man. Electrical systems failing. We're going down. Oh, crap. That is bad. Transport 202 is down at the foot of Nevskaya Dam. It looks like the pilot was able to bring her down in one piece. I can see movement around the plane. 
Looks like they are survivors. This is Trachev. I'm establishing a perimeter around the transport now, but I don't know how long we can hold out. Enemy ground units are closing in on the transport. Medved, what are your orders? This is Medved. I've contacted the Fort Air Base at Alagir, and the rescue force is on the way. Denisov, give those men all the help you can. We'll do our best, sir, but we're not equipped for ground support. Keep that one head out of enemy hands at all costs, Colonel. I'll get help to you as soon as I can. Ground target destroyed. Oh. Okay. This is kind of frustrating, I'd say. It seems a bit hard for us to. Man. Oh, these ground ground forces, they are taking a beating off me. I only got 22% of health. Okay, let's see if I can. Get that technical off. This is Drachev. We're getting hit hard down here. We need air support now. I read you, Drachev. Stand by. Okay, there, there are some guys. Missile battery there. Okay, let's see. Almost out of rockets. How am I supposed to do this? Oh, oh crap. I'm hit. Oh, I, I see this run going to failure. <laughs> um, okay. There is a lot of them right there. There's no airport for refueling. Let's hit on the ground target. Oh, I could lock, I could totally lock with the rockets. Delivery rockets. Oh, that's weird. Maybe that's why I lost all my ammo. Oh, there is more. We are taking heavy fire from enemy positions near our perimeter. Where is our air support? It is in a little bit of a <laughs> hard time. Uh, at least I can hold off for you for a while. That's that's so cruel. We're totally just killing the guy. My God, six one one to Medved. It's done, sir. There's nothing left. I take full responsibility for what happened, Denisov. It's a crime that such men should die thanks to the cowardice of politicians. Someone will pay for this, Colonel. I swear it to you. Someone is going to pay. Oh man, that that's kind of cruel. I totally had to kill my my whole army. <laughs> um, but anyway, I think we're done with this mission. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that guy. Someone's gonna have to pay for this. But anyway, I gotta take a little look of that on the episode time. So be right back in a moment. Okay, it seems like we still have more 15 minutes, so let's go to the next mission. Oh, this guy's alive. That's 
kind of unexpected. Thought I'd drown him. <laughs> okay, one day later. sucks. I think the guy exploded himself. The information I'm about to give you is classified as a matter of state security. At approximately 1100 hours local time, enemies of the Russian people detonated a nuclear weapon at the Romeshkino oil fields. Hundreds are feared dead. And one of our country's major energy production centers has been completely destroyed. It is undeniable that the liberal pro-Western policies of President Karl Gazev's government is at least partly to blame for this catastrophe. That is why a group of patriotic citizens, led by noted statesman Alexander Treskiev and supported by senior members of the military, have forced President Karl Gazev to step down and assume control of the government for the duration of the present emergency. I have informed President Treskiev that Spetsgruppe Medved will find the perpetrators of this atrocity and make them pay for what they've done. We've received intelligence indicating that the Separatist leaders are gathering tonight for a high-level meeting. No doubt to discuss strategy in the wake of the attack. We will fill the air with hunter-killer drones. And when the bastards show their faces, we'll put a missile right between their eyes. All units. This is General Morganov. The Separatists are on the move. Proceed to your assigned area and locate your target vehicle. You will use your RF intercept gear to pick up any wireless transmissions from the vehicle. The Separatists' communications are encrypted, but we can use the signals themselves to identify the enemy leaders. Then we follow them and see where they lead us. Okay. So, let's zoom in a little bit. Target identified. Good work, Sokov. Stay on him and wait for my signal. Okay, is that those trucks? They're multiple, stru multiple trucks. Follow this one, then. Where's the guy going? Okay, so there's some serious betrayal here. Um. For the last time, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. We followed the plan to the letter. Don't lie to me, Pavel. You had your
your orders. Ghost nukes were never meant to be used on Russian soil. Only on Western targets, I know. You think I'm an idiot? The nuke you had us divert from the train was handed over to Havis's people two days ago. It's on a freighter bound for Cape Town right now. What the hell are you saying? Uh, do I have to spell it out for you? We didn't set off that blast at Romashkino, General. Someone else did. Treskiev, you son of a bitch. What have you done? We've done everything you require, General. <sighs> the warhead should reach Cape Town within the next 24 hours. <sighs> it's time we discuss the final part of our payment. It's coming. Okay. Let's open fire. Engage and destroy all targets marked on your tactical display. The general wants the whole place sterilized. Damn it to hell, we've got to tell the Americans what happened to Mitri Ivanovich, or millions of people are going to die. Treskayev and his cronies have ordered a communications blackout. Right now, Russia is completely cut off from the outside world. The only way to get the word out is to carry it to the Americans ourselves. There are people in the U.S. military who know me. I may be able to get a short message to them, but we're going to need a plane. Morganov is about to start cleaning up loose ends. For right now, continue the mission as though nothing has happened. Then copy the audio file and meet me at Hangar 4. There's a great deal riding on this Dmitry Ivanovich. Don't let me down. Okay. So, if we need to complete the mission as followed. Oh, I totally missed that truck. Was following which it right here so yeah let's just kill everybody here basically and oh there's somebody there uh, target building another target building yeah, let's just keep killing everybody I think those are well we're off them let's oh there's still more there's a building here There is separatist agent there building here. I think there's nothing more. Okay, so apparently, um, it's done. justice for the lives lost at Romeskino. Justice for our brothers who died at Neskaya Dam. All units return to base. Rest assured, I will inform President Treskiev that our mission was a complete success okay trader um anyway uh, i'm pretty sure the episode time is over now after we, after this mission there was basically more of a storytelling mission so we get clarified but yeah anyway i'm Val, and i shall see you next time